Well, hello, folks. Yes, I am alive and well. And I am out on the bike today. Hopefully, you can hear it fine. I've got a new mic. Came recommended. And I've also got it in my seat pad. So hopefully you can hear fine. If not, you won't be seeing this, so it's irrelevant. If you can hear, perfect. It's a beautiful day. I'm in a good mood. I just need to go and fill up with fuel. And then we'll get riding and no doubt what's going on about. Absolute nonsense. So today, I am running on Shell V Power. And I've got a bit of Red X in the tank. Uh, no, it's the bike, it's just a tiny bit on the bulky side. I had a little look online and people said that's a, a worthwhile thing to, to try some high octane or high one or whatever you want to call it, fuel. And put a bit of Red X in the tank as well, clean the injectors, probably what it actually does, I don't know whether it, whether it really does what it says. I thought, well, for the cost it's worth it, I think. Fingers crossed you can actually hear all this. Blood. I don't think so today, so no. As if you can even see that sign, you might only be able to see the bloody sun in the sky, because unbeknown to me, I put, I've had my camera on my helmet for quite some time, and I've put it back on, and then went to reach it before I realised I'd put it on a different mountain and just couldn't be bothered to stop, so I've kind of just winging it as far as the uh, angle goes, so I do hope it looks okay. Probably splattered with flies now anyway, so it'll be available. And I've also got some new tyres on the bike, so just lately, I might put some pictures on the screen actually. Just lately I've been uh, doing a bit of cleaning on the bike and a bit of maintenance work. We've had a new filter, new oil, even though it was only done about two and a half thousand miles ago, it's been in the bike. Probably nine, nine, ten months or something. So I just thought, well, I've got it. I found it in the garage, so it's new. I obviously intended to do it at some point and didn't. So yeah, so I'll just, uh, do the oil, do the filter. That's really messed behind the engines. I finally put on my big boy pants and took the uh, put the down pipes off. Gave them a really good clean up. Gave the wheels a good clean. No, I'm not telling you. <laughs> friendly people out today, I think there's only been one person that has actually nodded at me, or nodded back. It's good. A bit of camaraderie, everybody's probably just happy to be out, to be honest. With the current lockdown, use that term very loosely. In the UK at the moment. Bought in the UK today as well. Again, another garage find, brand new in the packet. Bought them at some point when I've been paid, found them on a deal, or something. I thought I didn't know if you were in trouble or not. Just what, sorry? Oh, right, I see. No, I thought you were having some kind of uh, some kind of trouble. So, yeah. I saw a stream of bikes coming the other way, and I slowed right down to look at mirrors to see if they were stopping. None of them did. So I thought, well, I'll turn around just to make sure you're all right and just. Oh, I'm, I'm all right. It's just uh, last time I came up here, it pulled up with stop, no trouble. It's the pedal about, you know. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell, yeah, it's pedals. Yeah. Hell for you. Yeah. 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 What, what size engine is it then? What CC? Oh, 98 CC. Technical. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What year is that then? Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, 
the war, that's supposed to like mean this is this is Yeah, war, yeah. That's, that's all injury. Yeah. That's all the end of the war. And I think it must have been most put it after the end of the war. Yeah. 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 So is that all you ride then, or do you have other bikes as well? And yeah, I have other bikes. I have other bikes as well. But I prefer to ride Yeah, it's, it's certainly uh, something different. I've never never seen one before, anyway. Who actually makes it? Norman. Oh, right. Oh, right. There won't be many of them, they were mainly, uh, I mean, I've been riding 50 years, bike, motorbike, pedal bikes before that, and in all that time, I mean, I've had this 45 years. Bloody hell. Yeah. yeah. And in all that time, I've never seen one other, and that was on the trail, it's a door. Mm. I not all that sky, I've sooner, uh, sooner ride it. Ride it. So Definitely. Yeah. Now, I, I agree with that, there's, there's too many that are like, W would be appreciated to be seen on the road, but they're just locked in garages and started once a month and... Yeah. It, look, it looks better for a bit of patina, I think. That's just my outlook, though. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's a there's a bike shop. Uh, you, you might have heard of it near Melling, Stivies. Near Melling. Melling. Melling, yeah. Uh, are, you, are you not from around here? Ah, uh, well, it's like. Uh, you know Hornby. Yeah. 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 Well, there's. I don't. Oh, that that way, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, St there's a bike shop there, Stivvy's, and uh, he's mostly classic bikes like that. He's probably got about 20 of them in his in his showroom, like none for sale. They're just all his personal collection, and uh, underneath every one there's a little bucket to catch the oil. Like <laughs> underneath every one there's a little bucket to catch the oil. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's true. That's 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 a, that's a good motto to have, I suppose. Yeah. Aye. Yeah. No. Yeah, I can I can go either way really. Sometimes, especially on a nice day like this, and you just other bikes out. You sometimes get a bit going, but I'm quite happy to be not go above 40, 45, and just. Aim, aim to go somewhere. I tell you, it's a dangerous game, even on summer like this. Oh, yeah. Like, too near this today, with people pulling in front of me, especially at roundabouts. Mm, yeah. Snipping from, or they don't see you. Yeah. The brakes on this, they're absolutely dead. I was going to say, I imagine. Back. Back, I'm back, I'm thinking, but it's not the motor bike, it's cable, it's on the brakes, even, I must come out, put them, uh, pedal bike, well, when you put the brakes on, all that you're doing is stretching the cable. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, I remember a, a chap at one of our uh, bike meets, and he's got about thirty odd bikes. Some of them are, are, are classic bikes like that, old like thirties and forties and fifties, and he. He's got some, he's got some modern bikes as well. Yeah. And he was out on, he'd been out riding his, his, some of his older bikes for a few weeks. And he said, I went on one of newer bikes, pulled brakes in leaning over slightly like I would on an old one. And the front end just went because there's no brakes on the older ones yeah. and modern brakes on his, ride, on his newer one. If you ride within the parameters of the machine. Yeah, yeah. If it had good brakes, you tend to use them. Yeah. Away. Yeah. Uh, same with power. Great, 
Yeah. Perfect. And of course, distance. Good well, brakes. Good yeah. brakes are no good if you're rear-ending somebody, are they? So. Well, thing is that on stakes of that bus, brakes do not keep the eye on the car. Yeah. They don't. They don't. They could. People stood up. You stopped somewhere. The people keep going. It's the same with bikes. The rear. I mean, you can only do so. so is that what it does? The, uh, that's why it's not speed on it. Oh, of course, yes, it won't be able to speed, will it, really, on, on, on our roads? So the brakes are made for that, you know, you can bicycle brakes, really, or tandem brakes. Mm. Well, I've just been through Halls to have a little bit of a nosy, and there's 20, 30,000 pound sports bike there, and that has been the highlight of the day, I think. So John, John Mullen, I think he said his name was, I apologise John if I've got your name wrong, if you see this video. I thought, well, no other ignorant sod's going to stop, but I do. Because I'd like to think if I ever broke down, someone else would stop. And funnily enough, I have a history of... Um, video control cars, my other channel is RC Fun Every Day, go check it out, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. And his son, James, used to work at a shop I used to get RC cars from and parts. So I've actually met his son probably four years ago maybe, something like that. What a, what a weird pretty meeting. That's like one of those spooky um, coincidence things, isn't it, you know? Strange one. Nice Africa twin. Yes, we were just talking about Steve. Africa twin just reminded me. Steve's on at 900. Talking about maybe getting a new bike from his uh, pension fund. I think the Africa twin would be the way to go for, for such a tall chap.
Let's go rolling in. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Jesus. What the hell's up in there? Oil filter. Oh, no. Fuck, I better turn it off, wouldn't I? Shit. So I know I've calmed down a bit. It looks like some of us, you probably won't be able to see in there, but looks like a oil filter's exploded somehow. It's it's still on. But maybe a new bike purchase is gonna be needed sooner than I thought.